اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عدد من صلى عليه وصلي على سيدنا محمد عدد من لم يصلي عليه وصلي على سيدنا محمد أضعاف ما صلي عليه اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغلق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي إلى سراتك المستقيم وعلى آله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم <تصفيق> اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد صلاة الرضا ورضا عن أصحابه رضاء الرضا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد السابق للخلق نور ورحمة للعالمين ظهور عدد من مضى من خلقك ومن بقي ومن سعد منهم ومن شقي صلاة تستغرق العد وتحيط بالحد ما شاء الله كان ما لم يشأ لم يكن لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية مدد يا سلطان يا سيد الشيخ عبد الله الفائز الدغستاني سلطان يا سيد الشيخ محمد ناظم عادي الحقاني سيد الشيخ محمد عادل الرباني <coughs> You have to excuse me a little bit I'm uh, recovering from uh, I don't know what it was flu or otherwise but alhamdulillah so my voice is a bit uh, un- unusual <coughs> اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد Alhamdulillah, we have to hold tight now to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us of means that Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us to be safe and happy here and hereafter. We, although we are the end of times people, Akhir zaman people, you find less and less in this time that we are paying attention to the dangers that are surrounding us from within and without. Prophet ﷺ informed us on the tongues for. Sayyidina Hudayfa, I think, one day said Prophet ﷺ got up after uh, Fajr Salah and was talking about the signs of Akhir zaman Then Dhuhr time came, he prayed, then got up again and continued to speak. Then Asr time came, they prayed and so forth. All day long, Prophet ﷺ was talking about the signs of the end of times. He's not telling stories. He's looking with the eyes by his Lord, hearing with the ears by the power of his Lord's hearing. And he was trying to warn his Ummah about what's coming. And now that we are living in that time, you find that it is the least topic that is being addressed now. You can go online and you can see many khatibs and uh, teachers, but you don't find many people talking about what is coming. It is coming because Prophet ﷺ said it is coming. The Antichrist is coming. A'adhan Allah min. The corruption of the earth, the great war, the fitan kaqita illayl al-Muslim, the chunks of darkness, of confusions, they're already here. We're in the midst of these things. So what is our duty is to remind ourselves and then take the advice of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu of what to do and pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that He saves us from those fitan that are coming. And I was looking at some of the hadiths 
about the appearance of Dajjal. It is said that Prophet ﷺ has warned in ﷺ in more than 30 different places uh, about the Antichrist. And also teaching how to be safe from him. And <clears throat> in one narration of Sayyidina Abu Huraira, عنه, this is in Tirmidhi. Thalathatun idha kharajna lam yanfa' nafsan imanuha lam takun amanat min qabl. Three things. Once they appear, it, if you're not already a believer, belief after that is not going to be of benefit to you. And he said, those three things are the Antichrist and Adabba, the uh, animal that appears, Dabba Tul Art. And the third thing, is when the sun rises from the west. So if tomorrow the Antichrist appears and our faith is not solid, it's difficult to do anything about it afterwards because that is one of the great trials for humanity is the appearance of that one. For 40 days, he will not leave one place on earth except he will travel to. He will be there, except four places, Mecca, Medina, Jerusalem, and the Tour of Sina. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allah, Allah. And why do we say that that uh, we, you know this could happen any minute? Because there's another hadith that أخرجه الحاكم من طريق قتادة عن أبي الطفيل عن حذيفة بن أسيد رفعه أنه أنه يخرج يعني الدجال في نقص من الدنيا وخفة من الدين وسوء ذات البين فيرد كل من هل وتطوى له الأرض. That Sayyidina Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said in this narration that the Antichrist will appear when the dunya is diminishing. وَخِفَّةٍ مِّنَ الدِّينَ خِفَّةٍ مِّنَ الدِّينَ means when religion is taken very lightly. Allahu uh, Akbar. Religion now... Even the most, even religious people are taking it lightly, so not the ones that are not believing. Yani the way we Jaa uh, al-Islam, as Prophet Sayyidina Ali narrated it, I think, but uh, that the Islam came gharib, Jaa al-Islam gharib, and was saying gharib. Islam came as a strange thing. I think it's a hadith of Prophet Sallallahu and it will end up strange again. So Fatuba Lil Ghuraba is glad tidings for those strange ones who hold on tight to the way of Sayyidina Muhammad. And now I like that. Now religion and religious people and people who are trying their best to please their Lord, they're taken lightly. And then he'll appear when the relationships between human beings is completely bad between brothers and sisters and uncles and friends and yani, the relation is completely corrupted between human beings and we are witnessing <clears throat> and in this narration Prophet Sallallahu said he will yarid kulla man and he will, he will be in every inch of this earth except the four places we mentioned وَتُطْوَى لَهُ الْأَرْضِ he will be able to travel so easily wherever he wants And Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu qal Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad And this is a, a important It is important because we live in the time of appearances 
sensationalism, and we are taken by appearances. And the Antichrist will show you one thing, and its reality will be the opposite. And this is from a hadith that, that uh, أَنَّ مَعْهُ جَنَّةً وَنَارًا وَأَنَّهُ يَأْمُرُ السَّمَاءَ أَنْ تُمْطِرْ فَتُمْطِرْ That he will come with, he will have with him uh, paradise and fire. And he will order the sky to uh, bring rain, so it will rain. But the earth will not grow anything out of that ring. And in another hadith, Prophet ﷺ said, He will offer you fire, a river of fire, uh, a river of water in one hand, and in the other hand, He will offer you fire. And Prophet ﷺ said, Bow your head and drink from the fire. Put your head down and go. So don't be. Don't be fooled by the appearance of what he's offering you. Don't, because if you, choose, if you choose his water, you will be thrown in fire. And if you choose his fire, you will find water. And this is time, <laughs> this is the time of deception. Now, most of us are... Uh, plugged in and we are basically receivers for whatever brainwashing machines out there that are continuously spewing whatever information that's why even some some ulama have said that the manifestation of the system of the antichrist is already in place because they can make the white black and the black white they can make what is uh, good, bad, and what is bad, good. This is the time we are living in. <clears throat> this is the age of the Antichrist. So if we uh, are not, uh, before the appearance of the Antichrist, if we don't have solid faith, and if we don't have a uh, solid, if we don't have a good compass to point us, where we need to go will be completely lost at that time. It is a huge fitna that Prophet ﷺ was in, in his dua. He said, "Allahumma aridna min fitnati al wal mama fitnati al Masih al Dajjal." He used to ask uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to uh, take refuge in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala from the fitna of the Masih al Dajjal, from the the disc from the the confusion and discord because if you la Allah if Allah put us in there not many people will make it out if Allah put us on the path of that one not many people will make it will make it out of that with their faith and this is where we're getting this and Umran ibn Husayn radiallahu an an Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal من سمع بالدجال فلينأ عنه. Whoever hears that the Dajjal is one place, let him go away from him. فوالله إن الرجل لا يأتينه وهو يحسب أنه مؤمن فيتبعه مما يبعث من الشبهات أو لما يبعث به من الشبهات. So this عن سيدنا عمران بن حسين رضي الله عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said whoever hears that the Dajjal is in one place let him go the opposite direction فَلْيَنْأَ عنه. don't think that uh, you are able to you have such strong faith that you can you can be safe around that one because he said for Allah he's swearing Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that a man thinks that he is a good believer when he meets him he will follow him why because of the shubuhat uh, the things that he will be showing and doing that will uh, astonish those around him 
and make them believe in him. So this is may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allahumma a'idna min fitnati al-Masih al-Dajjal. And we know that Prophet sallallahu in order to be safe from Dajjal, he said, whoever whoever adrakahu, whoever uh, is in his time, let him read. Or whoever meets him, may Allah not let us meet him. فَلْيَقْرَأْ عَلَيْهِ فَوَاتِحْ سُورَةِ الْكَهْفِ Let him read the first uh, verses of Surah Al-Kahf on him. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. So he will stay on this earth for 40 days until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends Sayyidina Isa to kill him. Inshallah, we will continue with the rest of uh, these ahadiths next time. But we uh, are reminding ourselves uh, of that one because Mawlan Sheikh Nazim was forecasting the appearance of that one for the last 50, 60 years, was forecasting that we are living at the end of times. And I think in the last 10 years, it's been obvious that we have entered, maybe the last three years also have accelerated everything, that we have entered uh, some uncharted waters. And um, that, uh, we could easily be that generation where he actually physically appear. So we need to prepare ourselves and our families, our loved ones. We need to strengthen our faith. We need to refrain from haram. We need to refrain even from things that Allah dislikes, makruh. We need to engage in good deeds. We need to have morning and evening prayers and awrad and ad'iyya. We need to make uh, dhikr and fikr. Yani we need now to be around good people, if we still can, in preparation for that time.